morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, I've been to the dentist again and I can't speak nor eat shit or drink shit. I don't know why I want to be eating shit anyway. The S13 is behind us. We have, we have a bit of an angle here. Ah, fuck it. We have our first show this weekend um, and we have lots of problems left with the S13 still. Uh, we've got one big problem at the minute um, and it's misfiring. And I think there's a couple of reasons why, so we need to find that reason why, and we need to fix one of those reasons why. I think one of those reasons why is because our wiring loom is in here, okay? Is that raining? That's not fucking raining. And every time I put, took the wheel off, there's a few exposed wires, and that wiring loom is not in a good place. So we need to relocate that wiring loom. I've seen some people on the S13 page uh, do it, and it looks pretty easy, so we're gonna do that quickly. And apparently, people have had the issue where it's been running like shit, and it's because it's run through the knock sensor wiring. It did it a few weeks ago and it kind of fixed itself with like 10 minutes, so I just forgot about it. But it did it again the other day when I idled it. So I might start it now and it might be fine, but I need to do that anyway. So we're gonna relook at the wiring loom and fix any wires that are knackered. We're gonna to have to diagnose that misfire and where it's coming from. But that's the main things I need to do today. Let's just crack on because the biggest thing is getting this car not misfiring because I cannot drive it to Santa Ward with it the way it was. It just drives like it has no power. I mean, it's slow as shit anyway, um, but it drives bad. So we're just gonna start it and see if it's running like shit still. Oh, the idle, this is, the, that's something we need to fix as well. We need to fix the idle. You ain't really like absolute dog shit. It's really like absolute dog shit. It's like running on three cylinders, so we need to fix that. Oh god. So here is like the main wiring loom for the car. And you can see it's been rubbing here, but that's not bad at all. There, it's been uh you can actually see it's been uh, fully getting through to the wires. Now they're not bad, and I don't think that's our knock, our, our misfire issue. I think that's going to be more likely a coal pack or something. But either way, we need to uh, we need to fix this. It's, uh, it's too low, and we can get it much better with cable ties. I think we're just going to take all this, all the rubber bit off. It's just making it thicker, and well, we'll have a lot. See what we can do so we can put it. There's a few wires in here that are. Uh exposed so i'm just gonna cut up the wiring loom just to cut up the plastic just to just so they can breathe because they're so tight in there that i can i can barely get them out so just gonna carefully just chop the plastic around it chop the tape and then we can uh, we can redo the tape once we've individually fixed or covered each wire Right, so I tidied up the bit on the wiring looms. I put some extra wire in, tied it all up, and I wrapped it around some black electrical tape. I'm gonna leave the harness there now just to make sure it all starts, because some wires were properly cut, and I've had to rewire some wires in. So I'm just gonna start the car and make sure it starts. Okay, still running like shit. Right, so now we're gonna try and diagnose, um, we're gonna try and diagnose the misfire. So an easy way of doing it is to get the car idling, pull out some coil packs. If it changes the idle, then you know it's on that cylinder. Okay, so we're gonna get the car idling. It's idling pretty rough, right? Feels rough, so we're gonna pull out, we're gonna pull out, wiring to a coal pack. If it dies or it runs even worse, we know it's not that cylinder. We pull it out and it runs the same, we know it's that cylinder. You can hear it's running really rough. So we're just gonna pull out some coal packs. Start with number one. No difference whatsoever. Okay? As part number two, hopefully it dies. It dies, okay? So this is good. We think, I think it's gonna be number one coil pack. So we'll start it up again and just test three and four. One's to die, plug it back in, runs better. It's not three. Number four. 
dies. Now, a good way to test if it's the wiring or the plug is to just change the plug from two to one and then do the same test again. If two doesn't make a difference, we know it's a plug. Okay, so I've put number one cylinder, which is the one that killed the car. I've put number one plug on number two. So, so now I'm gonna pull number one. Now realistically, it should kill it if it's the plug. Okay, it's not the plug, the coil pack, sorry, it's not the coil pack. Okay, so that means it's either the wiring to plug number one, or it's the spark plug. So, I'm gonna do what's easiest, it's gonna change the spark plugs. Uh, change the spark plugs around from one to two and see if that makes a difference again. So what we need to do now is to see if we're getting spark. So I'm going to take the coil pack out and the plug out. We're going to arc it to, we're going to ground it something metal and we're going to see if the plug's firing. If it's not the plug, we're going to need to look at fueling. Right, so here's a fun way to test this. We're going to pull the coil pack out and test if it's getting spark. First thing you want to do is get the spark plug out of the cylinder, okay? And unplug all the coil packs so the car doesn't start. And you want to get your coil pack and you want to basically connect it up out of the car. Just like this, okay? Now this is much easier when you've got two people, but sadly I don't. So we need to ground that. Now, some people's heads are made of metal, but mine's painted so it won't work. So I'm going to stick my screwdriver in there so it's touching the, uh, the head. And then you've got to just find, try and find a way where it balances on that screwdriver. Okay, so you see how that's grounded? It's such in there. Now when you crank the car, you should see a spark here. So we are, we're getting spark. We're getting spark. It's quite hard to see, but we are getting spark. I'll do it one more time. So the next test is a fucking smart one, and it's smart because I didn't come up with it, and I've just watched Chris Fix on YouTube, and I found the issue. He says, get a screwdriver, put it against, and you can hear the injector clicking, because he's saying it's spring-loaded. My fourth one on cylinder one, which isn't firing properly, isn't clicking. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to see if my mic will pick it up. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to put the flat end on the injector, I can hear it clicking. I'm gonna put it on this one, cylinder number two. Or three, sorry. Clicking. Four. Clicking. This one, cylinder number one, absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna see if you can hear this. Can you hear that? I'm gonna put it right on it. Cylinder number one. Nothing. So, a bad fuel injector but what i'm going to do first is get a multimeter and make sure it's getting power because it could be something on the wiring loom honestly it's fucking typical i've lost another multimeter i don't i don't understand how i keep losing them they've, they've got fucking wires coming off them for fuck's sake it's like the hardest thing to lose but i just lose it all the time uh, I, I did find eddie eddie the iron held rattle gun remember the rattle gun i've, I've lost for forever i found it which is Great news, but it's not what I need right now, is it? Well, now, I know what you're all saying, just swap injectors round, um, but it's not easy to get the injector rail off this. It's really not easy at all. Oh well, fucking hell, doesn't, doesn't this look a little bit fucking suspect? Someone's wired on a new connector. Just hope that this wire's broke in here. Then we just know the issue. Do you know what I mean? I've done one and it's clearly been soldered. Let's check the other one out. And there we fucking go. Gave a little bit of a pull just to pull the tape and the whole fucking thing came off there we go there's our issue ladies and gentlemen i would have found that out if the fucking multimeter didn't piss off okay i'm not going to do my usual twist and tape method on the injector wiring um but i need to actually go into the office at three uh because someone has bought the fiesta oh yeah we scrapped the fiesta <laughs> forgot to tell anyone what a shit YouTuber. So yeah, we need to go and do that. And there's a soldering iron at the office. So I'm gonna borrow the soldering iron, solder that properly, wire it properly, so it doesn't fucking happen again. So with the time being, we'll just finish off our little wiring tuck. So some of the Americans, they actually put it over the top here. But because obviously their wiring looms on the other side, the chassis is different, like it's, it's different. If I put mine, so they, they cut a hole here and run it up and over this bit, 
but I don't think my wing will fit. So I'm not that low and there's quite a lot of space underneath. Before it was just like this, but all I'm gonna do is just get it properly tight like that. And I can't see it being an issue to be honest because I'm not that low and I don't plan to be going outrageously low anyway. So if I just put it up like this, that will, uh, I can't see that being an issue at all. Right, there we go. So I've got it properly tucked away, properly tucked under here, tight to the hair, so, and it's literally solid. So that is much, much, much better, and it will do for what I need. I'm trying to find my fucking scissor things to cut it, but I can't fucking find it. Why is everything you're going missing? We've got the Fiesta sold, so yeah, we just scrapped it. We sold it too. So when I bought the Fiesta, everyone was like, message Paul, buy grave parts, message Paul, buy grave parts. Um, and I actually messaged him, I was like, look, I've been told you're the man around here who deals with Fiestas, do you want this one? He's got us, he bought that and the, and the engine. 650 quid he bought it for, the car owes me 700. I've lost 50 quid, not that bad, but we've got a solder iron here with an array of fucking extensions. Let's solder this on and pray it bloody works. Okay, we're soldered up. We're gonna put the connector back on and start it and hopefully it's firing on all four. Let's just pray it's that. Let's pray. Come on. Yeah! Woohoo! Yes! That's dead making that noise by the way. Thank God. I'm gonna get the car back together guys and I've not been able to eat anything all day because the dentist this morning I've just had like meal replacement drinks and I'm absolutely starving but I've been told I can only have like something soft like mashed potato. So I'm gonna get some mashed potato and uh, the softest meat I can, I don't know, I'm gonna get something, I'm just fucking starving. But I'm gonna put the car back together tomorrow and we're actually going down to a detailing company and get the car detailed, wash and detailed because um, me and Cooper wet sand, wet sand it the other day and Cooper was, we got it like pretty much good, good as we can but Cooper says he's not a detailer. When you get it detailed, that'll get out all the super fine scratches. That's what we're doing tomorrow. But, love you all guys. Glad we got this fixed. Love you all. See you in the next one.